Joe Dunthorne, you're a judge on this year's BBC National Short Story Award. How have you found the judging process? Um, I've really, really enjoyed the judging process. I have never judged the story prize before and I, A, I was really, not exactly surprised, but I was, I was pleased at the quality of the stories. It felt like there was a lot of really good fiction and there's something great about reading lots of short stories. I, I kind of um, imagined what it might be like to judge a novel competition and I'm not totally convinced that that would be nearly as much pleasure as, as this was. You can also have that thing of reading something three or four times and discovering hidden depths, which is really exciting. And um, yeah, I, did, I loved it. Tell me about this year's winning story. Uh, yeah, this year's winning story, um, The Dead Roads by David Wilson. I just think it's a stunning, perfect, beautiful story um, with a, a kind of... Uh, huge amount of things to enjoy. I've got here um, characters in a situation that stay with you far beyond the end of the story. I think after one reading you've got the characters firmly lodged in your head and their personalities seem really genuine, also really well formed and the whole, the tension in the story is set up within the matter of a few sentences and the ball is never dropped. You kind of kept guessing in various ways and it's that great thing of old friends, two old old friends, the narrator and, and Animal Brooks, who actually, you know, they don't even really like each other that much. It's one of those great, I think quite often, um, male friendships where the, where the two guys are not even that similar anymore, neither in their twenties. They don't even have that much in common, but something has bound them in their youth and now they remain strung together, um, frustrating each other and arguing and being mean to each other but it still feels truly genuine and um, there's a couple of images which are, I mean there's probably four unforgettable images in the story. Uh, the ending is, is a fantastic image but there's also this great moment when they're driving along the motorway and they come off the motorway and there's a kind of um, disused funfair and the lines are Animal yawed us around the bend and all at once the horizon lit up with a neon clown head big as an RV. From our angle it looked as if the clown also had rabbit ears flopped down like two bendy fluorescent scoops. I just think there's that moment when you're reading, especially the first time you read it, when it has a real um, so surprise value, this kind of looming uh, inflatable clown head. Uh, and there's lots of moments like that, very, very visual, surprising. And I could keep going, the dialogue's brilliant, it's very funny. Um, we were talking about it in the judging process, but there's a sense that all the characters have futures and pasts, very developed ones, um, that is really difficult to do, especially when, you're, when the narrative voice is so offhand and so kind of chummy and likeable and it seems like it isn't trying very hard, or well, not trying very it's very precise, but it's not kind of like, uh, it's still having a lot of fun, but at the same time it's fitting in huge amounts of uh, kind of implied back and forward story. So yeah, it's a really impressive piece of work.